Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be looking at React OS versus real Windows malware. Now, I'm curious how this is going to work, because we did this on Wine, and for the most part, it didn't work that well, because a lot of malware is quite reliant on low-level system functions. So I'm going to extract these. XP antivirus. No, that's the zip. A bit confused. UI, okay. Yeah, this seems legit. Let's find out. Yep, it definitely extracted correctly because we now have the icon on the desktop for XP antivirus. Now, while XP antivirus is installing, let's get Windows Accelerator. These are all rogue antivirus programs, which heavily, for their actual, the way that they actually screw up your system is heavily reliant on their ability to mess with Windows's permissions and registry system, because if these things are working as intended, most of them will prevent executable files. And I had a couple of these when I was a kid, and they would work in different ways. One of them would set an exe file, like how an application could take ownership of a different format, and take ownership of it. So every time you opened an exe, it would warn you about it. Seems like antivirus XP. Okay, got DLL hell. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure that is the result of... Okay, Windows Accelerator Pro seems to not be doing anything. Or, maybe it is. Now we can always try MEMS. I think I'll save that for last because that will definitely... Unless it survives as well as Ubuntu does, that will definitely not work. The main way I could see these programs not working is either if React OS is not compatible enough with them, or if the React OS developers intentionally were to fix some of the bugs that make some of these programs possible. Because I think, like, the way that a program can take ownership of exe files should be considered a security flaw, not a feature. Okay. Oh no, this is the wrong browser. You have to, uh, I got MyPal because that is the best browser for Windows XP and similar operating systems such as React OS. And I'm going to try and find what I'm looking for. I'm going to find a Fortnite skin changer. And I'm going to use this as a test of modern, widely distributed malware. Now, those of you who have watched my channel for a really long time will remember that in one of my first videos, I discovered that we could see how the Steeler file worked by using Windows XP, because for whatever reason, in Windows XP, the Steeler worked, but its upload and delete function did not. So, we could get something really cool. Okay, script hack. Okay, good. Extracting. Now, will it get any further? Is the possibility... I may have just... I think I just got double... scammed. Okay, that's... I seem to get this one. I feel like I just fell for a download button ad of a malicious link. That is pretty funny. Okay, and this is just the same file we got before. It's probably... a scam. Oh, we can even ask it to check for viruses. We already know the answer, but okay. I imagine this is some sort of... Oh, okay. Scam download manager that's preventing us from being able to... Okay. That's what's preventing us. Well, one last-ditch effort is if this is actually just an archive and not a, a download, we might be able to use 7-zip. Generic setup.exe. I wonder if this is the file we need. Yes. Yes to all. Oh, that's interesting. I think we can safely assume this is the file. Oh, have I locked it up? Maybe we do just need to go into temp then. Administrator. I might have crashed the whole system. Feels like a 
preemptive multitasking system almost. And I know it. No, I mean cooperative. Like just the fact that one rogue application seems to be able to have a real negative impact on the whole system. I know this isn't cooperative multitasking, but it feels like cooperative multitasking a bit. Oh, and this uh, stupid thing from Windows XP where the desktop is the highest level according to file manager. Something I've never understood is that desktop, if you gr go above, even though it shows that we're in the file administrator, rather than taking us to this folder, which is ridiculously difficult to get even in modern versions of Windows, especially in older versions of Windows, we have to... I don't know why you'd want to copy that. Okay, we have to find... Uh, folder options because I want to I want to be able to see hidden files so that I can find because I think it's already extracted itself into temp. No, that we've already got that. It was protected operating system files. Location data. No, it's temp. I saw a temp files, but it doesn't seem to show temp. That's confusing. And in other weirdness, 7-Zip has uninstalled itself. Like, not completely, but we no longer have a right-click 7-Zip file manager, even though I can still open 7-Zip file manager. So I don't know if one of the other viruses destroyed the Windows registry, or what happened, but that's super strange. Let's see if we can open this Trojan again. This one just is absolutely nothing. Maybe temporary files... Are they not in documents and settings? No, I think they all. Just a bit. Okay. Application data. Application data. The Moonchild. Microsoft. Mozilla. Cookies. Desktop. Favorites. Local settings, maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay. CPU Z. Okay, that's real. That's like. Okay. So here is the file. Now let's run it application. This is a fake error. You know how I know this is a fake error? Because this is a Windows 10 error box. So this was worth doing. That's interesting. So we did learn something about the stealer because that's clearly a fake error. Failed to initialize. Click OK to terminate the application. This is all a facade. Why that shows up as a Windows 10 error box. And you can see, still got some stuff running. Now, what might fail is that. Okay. That one's still running. KB switch, maybe that's. Hard to tell sometimes what's real and what isn't. What's nor like what's normal and what isn't normal system files, but okay. KB switch. SMSS. Task manager.exe. I reckon there's not the same restrictions. I kind of want to try killing CRSS, which blue screens on regular Windows. But okay, let's let's do MEMS because I don't think we're gonna have much more luck. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, this is already working better than it did on Wine, which makes sense because Wine. Oh. I think we just crashed the whole system. I want to find out what happens if we reset it. Because I don't think you can defeat MEMS with a reset. Oh. Oh, it's already gotten the bootloader. Well then. At least a part of the virus works. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty funny. I think that's going to be uh, all for this... Uh, video like and subscribe or the nyan cat will hack your computer regardless of what operating system it's running on i love this this is just good fun bye